past, we can help the future. So BOCES held a Youth Climate Summit to educate students on how they can help. Our Eyewitness News reporter Jessica Landman also has that story. The Oneida Herkimer Madison BOCES partnered with the Wild Center today to host their Youth and Climate Summit. This summit is meant to teach kids how to become actively involved in their community's environment. And the point is, is that, you know, climate change is here, it's happening, um, particularly for young people, it can be very scary, um, and it can um, um, sometimes seem like there's nothing that they can do to make a difference. Um, and frankly, it's going to take all of us working together to um, ameliorate the worst impacts of climate change and keep it from being worse than it needs to be. They have agency on this issue that um, you can't wait for somebody else to, to do something about it. You um, need to be a part of it. Um, and hopefully, um, no matter what your interests and your passions are, you can f you'll find a way to connect it to them. From keynote speakers to workshops, this is a fun way for kids to learn how they can get involved and make a change. So we have the summit broken up into um, a number of different sessions. The first is a keynote that is from NYSERDA and it's um, about um, different kinds of green energy jobs, but also career exploration. That's kind of one of our themes for today. Um, and then the other theme is think globally, act locally. And so all the workshops um, and in the different organizations that will have tables are going to have activities or information or they'll be doing things that then they can take back to their communities and their schools. The organizers of this event hope that their message reaches more than just the 90 kids in attendance today. They hope that they will bring this message home to their schools and their communities so that everyone can learn and grow together. Reporting in New Hartford, I'm Jessica Landman, Eyewitness News, First at 10. Still to come tonight on Eyewitness News,